Hello everyone. This short video will go through the different types of plagiarism. Some uh, of these examples you probably realize are plagiarism, while others you might be surprised to find are indeed types of plagiarism. The first is copy and paste plagiarism, and this is one that I think probably everybody knows if you straight copy and paste from a document that is plagiarism. Uh, if you're taking word for word from a document, you need to do a direct quote. Word switch plagiarism is when you take a passage from a work and simply change out the words. So you might just be using synonyms off the top of your head or you might pull out the thesaurus and try to find uh, words to switch out. So here's an example of word switch plagiarism, which is also sometimes called thesaurus plagiarism. Uh, you can see exercise has been switched to working out, enables to empowers, okay, but it's, it's still, this is very much plagiarism. Metaphor plagiarism is when you don't credit a famous saying. And these are a few examples. Chaos is a friend of mine, which is a Bob Dylan quote. So if you're using a famous quote or metaphor, make sure you attribute it to uh, the person who originally said it. Uh, just as a reminder, metaphors help us understand something new or foreign by comparing it to something familiar. And you could certainly make these up on your own. And if you do make them up, you don't need to credit yourself. Uh, so an example is cumulus clouds look like mounds of fleshy, fluffy marshmallows. And I made this up, but it's not an original thought, and I'm sure that other people have said this, but I don't need to go down some rabbit hole trying to make sure that uh, I'm crediting the very first person who said this because it's probably not possible to find such information. Idea plagiarism. If something isn't your own idea, you need to cite it. And if something isn't common knowledge, but maybe you um, are expert in it, you would still need to cite a source. So for example, if you're a computer science major and you can explain how the internet works, that's great, but it's not common knowledge, so you would need to find a source for that and cite it. Exceptions to this rule would be common knowledge and generally accepted facts, so things like the sky is blue, 16 ounces in a pound, uh, Nashville is the capital of Tennessee. You don't need to cite that information. Uh, also well-known historical events and folklore and myths. And finally, self-plagiarism is a type of plagiarism you may not be aware of. I also sometimes call this academic laziness. Self-plagiarism is when you resubmit work that you completed for another course. And uh, if you submitted a paper at another school or at Nashville State uh, through Turnitin, it goes into the Turnitin database, so it will show up as plagiarized uh, if you resubmit work. So those are the different types of plagiarism. And uh, the primary way that you can avoid um, being accused of plagiarism or accidentally plagiarizing is to cite your sources.